One, two, and two now the count, the pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. That'll end this one, and it's high fives and handshakes for Central Arkansas as they inch closer to postseason play. They route first place Southeastern Louisiana here tonight by a final score of 13 to five. The Bears make it back to 500 to 14 and 14. And Connor Gilmore, his first ever save for the winningest pitcher in school history. This team once again trying to scrap and claw its way into postseason. Took a big step forward tonight and a great big team win. You took that momentum from Tuesday night. And how good does it feel to get a win here tonight on opening night? It feels really awesome. I can't even describe it. This is, we knew we had to win one game this weekend at least, and we did it on Friday, and there's no better feeling than that. I say, you knew kind of the state's coming in. You had, you, this team, and we talked to Coach Gum about it, still controls your own destiny. You can still play yourself into it. You take a big step tonight. Although New Orleans trying to rally in the eighth inning trailing, but Nichols can't make up any ground. But just to take some pressure off, get that opening game win, how big was it to respond like a guy like Cody Davenport on the mound getting a Friday night start against a team like this? They're fighting for a conference championship. Struggled a little bit, but the defense stayed with him, and he found a way to get out of that first inning, and the confidence grew from there. How big is it to have a guy like that fight for you on the mound as a true freshman? Oh, that's awesome, especially as a true freshman. He is a fighter out there. He is – Always, no matter if it's not going his way, he's going to bulldog it out. and He's going to give it his all. You can see it tonight. You know, he started off kind of slow, but he came back out there and just shoved the fastball right back at him. How big was it in that third inning when a lot of teams don't get so many chances to score like that against a team like Southeastern? You know, top five ERA in the nation coming in. and You know, as teams like us coming in, you've got to take care of their, of their mistakes. You've got to capitalize when you get a chance. But not only to capitalize, tie it up, and then – take advantage of every error they made and just continue to pile on. How big was that, was that? not only to tie and just take a one and lead, but to continue to pile on and put the pressure back on them? Oh, that was big time. You know, they, they gave us walks, they gave us errors, and they gave us some good balls to hit, and we took advantage of I'm pretty sure almost everything they gave us that inning, and it turned out awesome. We scored eight runs after being down three, and that just really, I think, set the tone for the rest of the game. Carrying the momentum over from Tuesday night, Going back to that, how to set the tone for this week. You know, it's a big week coming in. It's a rivalry game, but you guys set the tone early. They got a big inning in the middle, took the lead, but seniors led this team back offensively. A guy like Townsend, again, in the middle of it, using his legs, getting a, a base hit and stealing second when they're not expecting it and then forcing the play at home. And you guys, Langley and you at the order tonight, three RBIs, a home run, but triple doubles. Just talk about the way these seniors have really kind of carried this team at a point when it could have went south in the middle of the year. It really could have, but you guys hung in, and now you're at a position where you could punch another uh, a ticket to postseason. Um, well, I think it came down to the point where it was, you know, we all looked at each other, and we were like, well, it's either now or never. You know, and we want it to be now. We're not going to give up. But we know that this is our time's running out, and we're going to take full advantage. And I think we've done an awesome job just sticking with our approach and just going out there and playing, playing free like we got nothing to lose. We talked to you earlier this year, and the lineup still wasn't completely healthy. I mean, you've missed some time, I think. Matt Anderson's missed time. Chris Townsend's missed time. Disjointed lineup. And we've seen over the last month, the last three or four weeks now, that Coach Gum can ride in an everyday lineup, and you guys know your roles and where you're hitting. You've really seen these the middle of the order especially take off, and I know you've benefited a lot from the guys ahead of you getting on base and having a, a regular lineup. Chris Townsend getting hot, that's helped you as well, and the guys behind you. Talk about what it's like now to be in this lineup where everybody's been healthy and set and can get in a rhythm. Oh, it feels awesome. I feel like we're building chemistry every day. You know, we have that set lineup, and it's everyone knows what they need to do. Everyone knows what what their role is pretty much and you know we've it just fits well it's a it's a good lineup that meshes together and you can really see from the past few weeks it's just taken off great win tonight obviously you were right in the middle of it again three more rbis a home run tonight way to take care of business tonight but stay hungry this team can still win themselves in the tournament not even have to rely on anybody else that's what you want yeah we're going to come out tomorrow and we're the same intensity we're we're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Let's go get them, Brandon Montalvo. Yes. Congratulations. Big win tonight. Thank That's, you for having me. You're welcome. That's senior Brandon Montalvo.